Never seen him like this before. I could hear him in the bathroom muttering to himself. What did he say? Well, he was making a list about everyone he had to thank. He'd been acting like a water off a duck's rear end till today. That's Todd all over, isn't it? Makes out he doesn't care, but he can't stand to lose. Yeah, have you yet to meet anyone who does? Oh, it's awards for everything these days, isn't it? Optician of the year, best gas engineer of Weatherfield, most promising cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Sure you're wearing enough aftershave? That's smelly in the Rovers. Are you excited? About? The ceremony. Oh, the awards thing? Uh, no, not, not really. Well, I always think it's best to take these things with a large dose of salt. More of a PR exercise, really. What's that saying about triumph and disaster and treating both those imposters the same? Kipling. I mean, it's just good to be nominated, isn't it? And, you know, when things pick up, pal, you know. What? Do a Les Dawson impression? Give you a raise. When things pick up? You mean, when more people die? Hey, up. Don't look now. It's the face of Rest Easy. Troy Sawyer never buried a watch or a wedding ring in his own. Troy, shutters. How goes it? And your latest disciple, slash prize pomegranate. We've met before, I believe. Affirmative. Todd, Troy. Troy, Todd. Uh, George, Ellie. Ellie. George. Todd. Ellie. Oh, looks like the pomegranates are first up. Well, as they say, let the best young funeral director win. No. I just wanted some acknowledgement in your speech. You thanked everyone apart from me. I was the one that gave you a chance, despite all the warnings I was given. What warnings? It's like Susan Boyle not thanking Simon Cowell. Susan Boyle? What year is it again? Oi, don't you knock Sue, Bo. She's still the go-to chanteurs for many of our dearly departed. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they are. Trouble in paradise, George. Notice you didn't get a mention in young Todd's acceptance speech. Don't you start. I've run out of time. It was ten minutes long. I don't need thank yous, Troy. Everyone knows that Todd works for Shuttleworth's independent funeral services. That's all the acknowledgement I need. Go on, Todd. Show them your award. Oh, what quality is that? Good weight to it, too. Don't you reckon, Troy? Shiny, isn't it? So does dog muck when it's fresh, but I don't stand there admiring it. Why don't you go and ring your mother? Tell her the good news. Yeah. You got a good one there, George. But you know what this business is like. Won't be long till he's flying the nest. Especially with that prestigious award. Loyalty and trust, Troy. That's what me and the lad have got. Knows which side his bread's buttered on. Everyone's got a price, Georgie boy. We're not all money mad. Now, if you don't mind, there's many pasties doing the rounds. For. No, Mum. He was the last kid in his class to go to the toilet independently. <laughs> <laughs> so when he finally did, the teachers gave him an award. <laughs> oh, I dread to think what that award looks like. <laughs> How old was he? Seven. Seven? <laughs> <laughs> I was a late developer, all right. <laughs> oh, well, oh. you've more than made up for it. Young funeral director of the year. Oh, shut Troy up and all. See his face. Fuming. Yeah, look. Forget about Troy. I've got something important to say. Oh, you're brewing up. Give over you. Look, today just goes to show how far you've come. And it'd be remiss of me not to reward your efforts. So how about a couple of extra bob in your pay packet? Shall we say 200 quid? A week? A month. Let's not go mad. That's amazing. But, um. What's brought this on? I thought you said you couldn't afford it. No, 
It's nothing, it's just a little token of my faith in you. Now I'll brew up. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Who would have thought you'd find your calling as a funeral director? I don't know how you do it. This is the woman who spends all day in a cab office with Tim and Steve. I'll take the dead any time. Mm. Hey, George. Thanks. You won't regret it. 